hello 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 welcome back to another video this video is something slightly different it's a halloween effects video which i tried to already film once and my degu decided they didn't want me to do it and would squeak this wheel the whole way through and i couldn't even edit it because it was annoying so i just gave up anyway today i'm in the garden hopefully my stuff won't blow away but i thought as it's nice weather we could be outside and uh, don't worry, I've got to look at my face for too long because in a minute I'll be moving the camera towards the table. So you'll have to see me squinting and whatever. So yeah, so as Halloween's coming up, I thought this might be a good idea just to show you how you can do some um, Halloween effects at home um, fairly cheaply. So um, yeah, so let's get cracking and uh, I'll just pause it and move the camera and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so oh, hang on, it's just blown away. <laughs> Hopefully this angle is alright for you guys, I'll be doing it here, so you should be able to see that alright. First of all I'm going to run through the things that you will need for this video. Um, let's put my wedding ring away. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is some water, which I've just got in a cup. Um, you'll need some liquid latex, which you can get from the fancy dress shop, or the pound shop, or I don't know if you've got that where you are. Um, some face paints, I've got red, and I've got black. Um, and some fake blood, which I've already used, obviously it's got stuff all over it. Also some cotton wool to make the skin, and a, a paintbrush and a little makeup sponge I've got to do the face paints. Okay, so, first thing you want to do, I'll just move the camera, is to put some liquid latex on your hand. Okay, so, put some on your brush. I'm going to do, do like a cut, I suppose, down your hand. Leave a little gap in between because you need to make the area for your, like the whole area. I'm not going to do it too big just for the purpose of this video so that it doesn't take too long. Then you get your cotton wool. Thread it, thread it up a little bit. Mine's going to blow away in the wind. You place that on to your liquid latex. Like that. Make sure it's stuck down quite well. Okay, so you get that. Doesn't look very good at the moment, but hopefully it will in the end. Stuck to me. Okay, so that's what you've got. Make sure it's all pushed down to your hand. Then you get your more liquid latex. And you place it on top of the cotton wool. You want to make sure it sticks around the edge. Because it needs to make sure it's held on nicely to your skin. It might stick and feel like it's going to come off. Just keep going with it. Once it's all covered, it will stick down. You shouldn't try and lift up them. Just make sure you get everything covered. Like that. Obviously, you can use tissue if you want to. But, I don't know. I've always used cotton wool, so it's up to you guys what you fancy. Put a bit there. Make sure that goes down. Okay, and all you need to do is just let that go a little bit sticky because you need to peel the edges away to make the cut. So I normally use the end of my, let's get this off here, the end of my paintbrush and I gently pull it back like this to make like a cut. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see. Oh, my cotton wool's just blown away. Okay, I'm just going to get my finger in there. Pull it off. 
a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit around the edges just to make them a bit to hold the little threads down from the cotton wool. So I don't want it to look like it's got a I'm going to go down there a bit deeper because I've got quite a bit of thing down there. There, so you should have, I don't know if you can see very well with that, a bit like that. Yeah. And then you can go up there. Peel it up. Makes it look like there, like your skin is hanging off. Can you see that? So that's the general idea. Then we're going to give it a quick rub in there because obviously you get liquid latex in there and that won't, won't help the um, face paint to stick. So give it a little rub around, make sure you've got not too much on there. It's probably best, if you can, to use a paintbrush, but I don't know if this one is going to work because I've had it in the liquid latex. So I don't know. Let's find me cotton warm it. I'm blown away in the garden somewhere. Oh, it's long gone. Let's use this bit. I'm just going to wipe it off a bit, see if I can... <laughs> Maybe don't do that. It's probably not a good idea. I was just trying to get some of it off so that I could use it for the paint, but... Yeah. Um, probably not a good idea. That's not my best idea, I don't think. Oh, here we go. It should just peel off because it's obviously... <sighs> yeah. It's coming off. Okay, put that back on there. The good thing about this liquid latex, if you rub your fingers like that, it just comes off. Okay, so I've kind of got a paintbrush, which is a bit dodgy, but we're going to give it a go. So, you get a bit of black on your brush, or you can use a sponge, and you want to go into the hole. You want to get as far down as you can, because you want it to look like it's deep. Make sure you go into all the little crevices. Like that. And then you can also put a little bit around the edge because you want this to look like it's your skin and it's going to be a bit bruised if you've got a big cut like that on your hand. So like, just brush it about a bit, get it all in the cracks. I feel like I'm whispering, I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Okay, lift our skin back up, we want that up, don't we? We want that up. Yeah, right. Okay, and then what you can do is you can get your makeup sponge with a bit of black on it. Just go around the edge a little bit and just give yourself a bit of a bruised effect. Because you want to add to the texture. Just a little bit around the edge, not too much. Like that. A bit more black on there, I think. I'm a bit watery now because my brush has got so much liquid latex all over it. And then, i squeeze a bit of this water out of here. We want a bit of red. So, with the Snazzaroo paints, you need to go quite hard into it so that you get like a nice thick bit. Okay, and then we're going to go inside with that. Make sure you go under your flaps again, like you did before. 
on the outside of it. Get your sponge, get a bit of red on there. Like we did with the bruising. It's probably a bit much there already, but something like that. Make sure you cover all the white bits. Hopefully you can see that. get into all the little creases. There. That's what it looks like so far. You wait for that to dry because um, you don't want to put any more on and actually take the others off. And then we're going to lift the skin and we can pop the liquid latex in there. But yeah, if you do the bruised effect around here, just to add to the camera nearly fell over then that would be good wouldn't it okay so you see that blood lifts up okay so yeah with the end of the brush we're going to go underneath lift up the skin i think i'm going to put a bit more red in there i'm going to make use a sponge i think Maybe a bit of black. Okay. So this is it, nearly done. Just get in there, get a bit of depth to it. Make sure you go underneath. Right. Then you get your fake blood. If you've done work I have like this, you could probably pour it in. So What we do when we go to Friday night is take a little pot with it in so that you actually got some you can like top up top it up so it looks like it's all fresh. And then with your finger you can pull it up. around a bit, get a bit out of here. Like that. You can also get a bit on your sponge and then sponge it around the edge. Make this look all like it's just been done, it's all dribbling down. And there we are. That's the finished article. Obviously I can't really see what I'm doing so you probably would need to blend this bruising bit out a bit more. But I obviously can't really see what I'm doing. So that's the finished part. Didn't take long really and it's fairly cheap. It looks quite good. Let's see if I can take you into the light so you can see. <laughs> we can get in the sun, here we are. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I'll take a few pictures and pop them on my um, Instagram so you can have a proper look. But yeah, that's the finished look. Something like that. It's fairly simple. You can do what you like, really, to a certain extent. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to put the camera back up there a minute. Yeah, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a, bit, a little bit different. Um, please like and subscribe. I'd like to see it. If you, do, if you do manage to do it yourself, send me some pictures on Instagram. Let me know what you did, how yours looked. And... Um, <clears throat> You're probably better at it than me, I bet. And that's it. Hopefully this video won't have any squeaking in it. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe and like the channel. Share it with your friends. Leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to press the bell so you can see what other videos we get. We do a lot of unboxings and things. So, hopefully a few more Halloween looks before Halloween comes up. Sorry, it's really sunny out here. And, uh, yeah, nice to see you. Take care. See you soon.